folks. Uh, doing a little driving this morning, had some windshield time. I'm sitting here thinking about something and I uh, wanted to share it with you. Um, I've been thinking uh, here of late about the difference between discipline and punishment. Um, oftentimes, punishment and discipline may appear from the outside to be the same. Um, even the method in terms of how the discipline is applied or the discipline is applied, the punishment, it might even be the same method. Um, but really what the difference is, is in the motive and the heart. Let me give you an example of what I mean. Um, uh, a, if a particular behavior is engaged in uh, either by a child or maybe within the church, uh, even as an adult, look, look we can do a, a, an example uh, of like church discipline. Um, to levy a consequence with a child, it might be a, you know a, a spanking or, or being grounded, losing a privilege, um, not getting to go to a special event, something like that. Um, that's a consequence. Um, you might even call that a punishment. In church discipline, maybe someone is um, repeatedly gossiping or showing fits of anger or uh, just something like that, involved in some sort of immorality. Uh, and maybe fellowship is temporarily withdrawn or they're asked not to... Uh, to do some, maybe taken out of a position of leadership uh, temporarily or uh, maybe permanently. And either one could be a punishment or a discipline. The, the way that you tell the difference in discipline and punishment is in the reason that you do it, number one, and number two, the expected outcome. With discipline, the outcome is corrected behavior. Not just outward behavior, but with discipline, you're trying to reach the heart. And your idea is that you want to reframe, you want to mold, uh, not just stop negative behavior, but to bring about positive change and new behavior. Punishment is punitive. What that means is, I'm going to get you back for what you did. You're going to pay a consequence, a payment as it were. Uh, we even refer to like going to jail as paying a debt to society. That's not discipline. Um, our prison system, for instance, is punitive. Um, there's a great debate, always has been, about whether or not the prison system should be restorative versus punitive versus punitive, meaning should we train and teach and mold um, our inmates to be better and more productive citizens when they get out on parole or when they've served their sentence? Or should we just make it miserable and punitive to get them back for what they've done and hopefully make them not want to do it again? I'm not here to make that debate uh, today one way or the other. I just want to draw a distinction especially within the church and even within our families, that there may be a consequence that is levied um, because of a particular behavior. But I know with children, we're not punitive in our discipline. Our idea is not just to get them back and make their lives miserable so they don't do it again. The idea is to mold the behavior, to get at the heart, and to begin to bring about positive change. And the same is the truth in the church is that if we have uh, uh, someone that is under the shepherding of, uh, of the under shepherds of the church and uh, we've submitted our, our lives to them and we step out of line biblically, the theologically or, or, you know, or, or behaviorally or something like that that, that warrants an, uh, something to be addressed and maybe it's serious enough that it actually brings a consequence. We don't get to lead anymore. We don't get to, maybe we have to take some time off from leading to work on our walk. Um, Maybe we have to stand up and say, I'm sorry. Maybe we have to own, I don't know, fill in the blank. But the goal and the motive is not just to stop negative behavior. That's part of it. It's not just to get people back. That's not part of it. That's not the right heart. But it is to mold behavior and to bring about positive change, ultimately to help each other transform into the image of Christ. That's it. 
to be to transformed into the image of Christ. We call it sanctification. And so the difference between discipline and punishment is that discipline is restorative, punishment is punitive. Let us never bring about discipline in the church to be punitive. Y'all have a great day.